I think it is fair to say that our next two guests have never forgotten their roots. Growing up in Louisiana, you definitely learned to appreciate more than just the music and the food, but the land. And now, two local buddies from Bayou Country are using their fame to help farmers, along with their love for our planet and to help save the world. Nature stores the seed, waiting for the right conditions to appear. We need to stop wondering how we can green this planet. We're already doing it at a scale that can be done worldwide. These are stories to save our soil that could actually save all of us. It's a part of a new documentary that actor Ian Summerhalder and award-winning filmmaker Josh Tickell hope will inspire you, too, to seek common ground for common good, transforming our food system for better health and a better economy. Ian and Josh show me now in studio to not only talk about the film, but how we can all play a part in helping their mission it just starts with a love letter. And we're gonna to get to the love letters in just a minute, okay? But first, the love between the two of you. This is a... <laughs> it is it's obvious. A it is, and it this is romance and this yeah. love translate to a love for soil. Yeah. Okay, you might, say to, you might say to people, gotta love your soil. We all sit back and go, oh my gosh, Ian. Josh, really, are you serious? <laughs> then you watch the documentary and you go, aha, it totally affects me, my future, my children. Um, Everything. If the soil dies, we die. That's what stood out to me. Why do you care so much about this? Let's start with you, Josh. Well, we all eat, right? I have two small children, my wife and I, a six-year-old and nine-year-old. When I look at them, I think, what kind of future are we giving them? And Common Ground really speaks to the future, not just climate and farming, we do that too, but food and health. What are we putting in our bodies and what are we putting in our kids' bodies? Very important. But see, not everybody thinks about, about soil. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and that's what you guys really, no pun intended, dig into. We always think about sugar and processed food. We've seen all these documentaries on obesity. But if you go down the road to Mount Vernon, George Washington was doing regenerative, I always slur the word, regeneration farming, right? Right, regenerative, regenerative agriculture. Thank you, regenerative yeah. agriculture. Yeah. Yeah. Say that three times really fast. You and it, you can't, thank you. But he was already doing it because he saw how the tobacco fields were killing the soil. Yes. So, Ian, did you ever think you'd be talking about the importance of soil? <laughs> so I grew up, my, my mom's dad, so my grandfather, in the 40s and 50s, was well known, was, I come from a big farming family, was well known for growing kale in the 50s in Mississippi. Kale and strawberries is what they specialize in. Regenerative farm. We have been practicing this since the beginning of time, but if you look at the largest civilizations that starved themselves out and didn't make it, it all came down to the mismanagement of their land. And so in this 2023 era, what Josh and Rebecca Tickell have done is shown us that we're doing this yet again. And now we have the ability to stop it right now, build a bustling, incredible food economy, literally stop climate change in its tracks, keep all of that money that we're sending to these big agrochemical companies in farmers' pockets in the United States, and build farmer prosperity. See, not everybody understands that this type of farming actually, it not only saves our, our health, our lives, but it saves money. And you were an investigative journalist. You dug into this. You exposed the whole industrialization of agriculture. There we go. What, so hit that for us. This isn't just a, you know, feel good humanitarian. T this is serious business and changing the way we do business in farming. Well, consider, consider this. We've got about 200 million acres of grain in this country. Rick Clark, who's just behind there in the, in the studio today, he's a farmer from Indiana who's practicing regenerative agriculture. He still grows corn. He still grows soy. He still grows beef and cattle. He's feeding America, right? But he's doing it regeneratively. He's saving $400 an acre. Well, let's do the math. $400 an acre times 200 million acres, uh. there's the economy of the country. There's a tax basis. There's an entire reindustrialization of middle America right there, just through this. And it's organic and it's healthy. Okay, okay since we can't put Rick on set, we do have Gabe on camera. Let's yeah. roll this and yeah. talk yeah. about that. Okay. The Dust Bowl occurred 90 years ago, but we have one occurring today. It's happening again. Version 2.0. This is serious. We have to stop this. 
mentioned farmers like Gabe and Alejandro, who we saw in the intro, and also Richard. Rick, yeah, Rick, 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 who's here with us. Um, they're doing it. So, so explain how you're going to try and change the culture with this documentary, because there's a lot of money being made with chemicals and certain types of farming that we're not all really hip to, like you Covington boys, you know, and you that know, lived on a farm. But we're, we're not, not actually trying. trying. We are doing. Yeah. I, I think, think what's happening, happening is, you know, like the, the whole idea is like some things you just can't unsee. Mm -hmm. Started with Kiss the Ground, now with Common Ground. You can't unsee this. So if you tell a farmer, hey, you're going to make more money. You're going to uh, live in a better home, drive a better car. Your kids are going to go to better schools. You're going to have better health care. You are going to make money and you're going to feel good about it. You're not going to be on government subsidies. There's no reason for it. That is something that hits them in the very core of who they are. Building farmer prosperity in this country is the best thing that we could possibly do. You know, we always talk about these things, national security, balance of trade, food security, and then keeping, let's say conservatively, 50 to $80 billion a year in middle America. It is literally the reindustrialization of middle America. It's incredible. And it's like, you know, uh, you could say like coastal elites talk about flyover states. They're the most important states in the union, and they're about to become the rock stars of the union. It's pretty cool stuff. Final thought. We have an opportunity to balance the climate within less than a generation. We have an opportunity to bring healthy food to millions of Americans, and we have an opportunity to stabilize the American economy all through not new technology. We're not selling widgets or phones or apps. <laughs> We're just teaching new techniques, and these are techniques that have been done for thousands of years, just done in a more modern way by farmers who care. When we did kiss the ground, there were zero acres. Now we're up to 34 million acres of regenerative agriculture. With common ground, we think we're going to get to 100 million acres. That's 10% of U.S. ag. So if you missed the first documentary, it's Kiss the Ground. Watch that. And now, part two, Common Ground, where Ian and Josh and a slew of celebrities and activists and humanitarians are part of this documentary. Gentlemen, thank you. Thank Appreciate you. it so much. It's into the theater, right? Because that's how you vote at the box office. Because let's be honest, there's a lot of censorship on this film right now. Yeah. So we're just asking everyone, get into the theater, check this out. If you can't get there, buy tickets for someone who can. And you'll be at the Miracle Theater tonight. I'll be at the Miracle Theater tonight. Oh, with the movie. Here in D.C. We, yeah. don't, we don't have any censorship around here, folks. Great to see you both. Yeah, Thanks, right. All right, look forward to part three. Look forward. Okay. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.